Hi folks, I'm Nathan and I wanted to show you how to get set up with Levelbook. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Levelbook here and I'll just pretend like I don't have any files here. So this is what you see when you first open up the app and you want to start by pressing the plus button and this will create a class. So I'll call this Mr. Bruno's class. And I'm going to turn iCloud on so that it stores this in the cloud. That way I can access it from any of my iOS devices, my iPad or my iPhone. And there's my class. Now what I need to do is add books and students. And it's spelled me instead of Mr. Love you autocorrect. All right, so let's go ahead and add a student. We can do that by pressing the plus button right here at the top of the screen and adding a student. And put there, you have to put a reading level. If you don't know what it is, just put A or whatever level works. The other place that we can add students is if we swipe uh, from left to right, we can access the Manage Students menu. And here we have the same list of students, and we can add students here. Um, and let's put a reading level there as well. Um, now, what's different about this Manage Students one is that you can tap on a student that's already been added and fix any misspellings, change their reading level, uh, delete the student, um, or see what their student ID number is. Student ID is just um, kind of an internal number generated to, to tell students apart if you happen to change their names to match each other. Um, if you have two students by the same name, they'll at least have different student ID numbers. Okay, so that's how you add students. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is add books to your book list. So let's go to that book list menu. Again, you just swipe to the menu there and then tap book list. And you can press plus and do the exact same thing. Similar look here. So uh, we'll put in a book name here. Good night, moon. And the word count. I'm sure it's less than that. Uh, and then the book level. Okay, and you can continue adding books until you're happy, and when you're done, you can press done. All right, and then what, you'll have a nice list of books here, and um, by tapping on the book, you get to see uh, the, the data along with that book. Depending on what reading level or reading level system you're using, um, right now I'm currently using the Fountas and Pinnell system. And so all the other ones are grayed out, but I certainly could add in, you know, a Lexile level for this book, just for my own records to keep track of. Um, and uh, I could sort by the level, or I can sort by the name. And of course, if you have a whole bunch of books, that'll be a lot more useful than if you just have one book. Uh, and then the next thing you'll want to do is set up some benchmarks. Benchmarks, um, that's just... Uh, the next thing down on the menu here. Benchmarks are, uh, for example, all students in our district need to be to level C by the 1st of November. So to do that, we press the plus button again. And then if you tap on the date, you can select the date. And so just a date picker here. Pick the 1st of November, and then I will put in the <clears throat> reading level that, need, that we need to reach by then. So I'll put level C, and then press Save. And I've added that as a benchmark, and I could add another one. I'll just add another one real quick. Let's say by January 1st, or let's say February 1st. Students need to be to level E. Okay, now if I go back to the benchmarks, I can see those two benchmarks are there. And that is going to help me 
when I go to um, my regular level book view, this level book right here, that's the main view, that's where we're going to spend the mo majority of our time. Um, that will actually highlight the students that have been tested in red if they are meeting benchmark, or if they're not meeting benchmark, and green if they are meeting the benchmark. Okay, so that's your basic setup for uh, getting started with level book.